Good afternoon on what is a very warm, bright and sunny day. It is Friday the 16th of June. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a parcel to continue unboxing. I've already pulled out this and I'm not going to do an unboxing of this series because I've already done that but I'm buying more copies for a friend for his birthday. But what I have also got in here are these two books, Flashman and Royal Flash. Now, I've already looked at Flashman, which is Flashman uh, Papers 1, which is set uh, 1839 to, um, to 1842, uh, which essentially is a um, historical romp um, and sequel to Tom Brown's School Days, uh, written by George MacDonald Fraser based upon the Flashman papers, which were sort of like supposedly a series of papers and memoirs um, written by um, a Victorian general and adventurer of the British Empire, uh, General Sir Harry Flashman, um, you know, who uh, served the British Empire well, had a series of adventures and so on, um, and had a great reputation. Unfortunately, that's not the case because as he made clear in his memoirs, which would, would have been published long after his death, um, he's a scoundrel, um, a cad, a bounder, uh, a philanderer, and so on. And generally, um, he, you know, doesn't have a very good, good character. Um, but he gets away with it throughout all of his, his adventures, which run from so 1842 through to about the early, early um, um, 1880s. Um, he basically manages to sort of like pull himself um, out of the fire off into the frying pan and then out again um, and, and sort of like comes away with his reputation um, untarnished so Harry Flashman essentially is the character whom you may well have know, encountered um, in, to, uh, in Thomas Hughes's um, Tom Brown's School Days uh, novel of uh, Victorian um, uh, time at uh, rugby school who is um, ultimately uh, expelled from the school for being a bully. What did he do next? That's Flashman. So he enlisted and um, basically um, sort of fights, survives um, the first um, Anglo-Afghan war. Royal Flash is uh, the Flashman Papers 2, 1842 to, uh, to um, 43, 1847 to 48. When a mission calls for a master of disguise, deceit, lechery and treachery, there's only one man for the job. Flashman. Delivered by a legendary femme fatale into the clutches of the dastardly Otto von Bismarck, Flashman will need all of his reserves and low cunning and seductive charm if he is to extricate himself from their fiendish plot. From London's gaming halls to the dungeons and throne rooms of Europe, our hero engages in a desperate succession of escapes, amours, and a, a bit of an unavoidable swordplay while the destiny of a continent rests on his quivering soldier, shoulders. Sorry. Um, so, this book uh, is it's also made into a film um, starring uh, um, oh God, I've forgotten, Malcolm McDowell as Flashman and then uh, Oliver Reed as Bismarck. And it's huge fun. Um, but uh, this gets him involved in the Schleswig Holstein uh, crisis between um, essentially the German states and um, Denmark as to who would, you know, basically who would um, uh, control the fate of a northern German uh, state um, on the Dan Danish border. Uh, and of course, um, Statesman Bismarck, um, ever the manipulator and, and schemer, sees a way to advance the German cause. Um, so, and that involves Flashman, and that involves um, another historical figure, um, Lola Montez, um, a dancer um, and um, seductress, uh, supposedly Spanish, probably Irish, um, who um, became uh, the paramour of, um, I believe, Ludwig III of, King Ludwig III of Bavaria, uh, notorious for this. Um, so, you know, the, essentially between the two of them, they have 
uh, Flashman in, in, in their clutches and are using him as their cat's paw to advance um, von Bismarck's um, plan. So, at, uh, as ever, um, we have uh, an introduction, um, fullest of his other, of McFraser's other books, um, at, uh, an explanatory note as to how he came by, uh, Fraser came by the papers and so on, um, and then maps of, um, so uh, we have uh, uh, essentially uh, the Duchy of Strakens, northern Germany, you put basically all part of, 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 of the plot uh, and um, a closer map of, of, of Duchy of Strakens. Um, and because it's, it's a semi-historical novel, setting uh, it against historical events, um, we have a couple of appendices. Uh, one of which is about the prisoner of Zender, because this book is actually very close to it in terms of its plot. Uh, and Appendix 2 discusses Lola Montez. Uh, and then we have notes, because it's a historical work. Uh, and that, that puts a lot of sort of like detail and um, information in there. And um, so you have the context for, for a lot of what's going in on. And you've got to basically the advert for more of the books in the series. Um... So these are kind of racy romps across Europe. Um, uh, to, um, you know, I first came across them when um, I discovered them on my father's bookshelves because I was looking for something more to read, um, you know, because I was reading science fiction and a lot of sort of like adult books and, you know, um, um, and found this and this looks exciting. And it's sort of like inspired, it, it also because it had a historical uh, setting. I love the history and uh, these books introduced me to d parts of, of European history. Um, because they're strong grounding, because I knew nothing about the the, the Anglo-Afghan War, um, you know, the period of the 1840s, or indeed, um, really very much about um, uh, the initial sort of push towards German unification, which, you know, is, is like the groundwork are, are laid for that here in, in this novel, in the plans of the dastardly Otto von Bismarck. So, um, you will also find the sort of like um, Flashman as a character, uh, does turn up in um, a couple of role-playing games. Um, Castle Falkenstein, he is listed as an NPC or just one of the figures of the age. Um, at, um, so, yeah, um, you know, he, he it's sort of like he could easily appear in your role-playing game any time between the 1840s and 1870s, really. Um, so, sort of like the mid-Victorian, early to mid-Victorian period. Um, and he's such a fun character to, 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 to portray. I thoroughly recommend this series. Start off, of course, with uh, the Flashman um, and the Papers, which is what Flashman, which is the Flashman Papers one, and then two, um, because there is a specific order. They they jump around um, time as well. So this one is 1842, 1843, and then to 1847, 1848, and this because 1848, of course, will take place against the backdrop of also the revolutions across Europe at the time. You have revolutions in 1830 across Europe and then again in 1848. Um, none of them were particularly successful. Um, you know, uh, really apart from sort of like France where Napoleon, the, sort of like the, Napoleon III comes to, comes, to, comes to power eventually. Um, so yeah, um, great character, utter swine, utter scoundrel. Um, definitely worth a, a, a read if you enjoy Victorian um, um, uh, fiction and romps. So yeah, Royal Flash by George MacDonald Fraser. And I do hope that Keith, once he receives this book, will enjoy them. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to see more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here, um, typically with a package um, containing a book or game or role-playing game, in this case a novel, which I'll unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice little cup of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Once again, Thanks for watching another Unboxing the Nook. I will be back again soon with another one, definitely role-playing or gaming-based. 
In the meantime, thanks again for watching. Back again soon. Bye for now.